Okay. While I was waiting for the virtual machine to come up, uh, I did a few things. Uh, number one, I just run the ping, constant ping. 172.16.1.4, you know, this will, this is the IP address of that machine and I'm not getting any response. Reason of that could be because the local firewall, local firewall on that server. Second thing on the DNS, I create a host record for this DC2. And the third thing I would like to do, which I would like to do in front of you, I'll go to routing remote access server. And as you can see, IP version 4, static routes. Right now, there is no static route defined to it. I would like to, if I can show IP routing table, I don't see the route that we added before uh, during the configuration. So I would like to go with static route and say new static route. Make sure Azure side to side VPN interface is selected. Destination 172.61.0 network and mask 255.255.255.0 and metric i will just keep it default okay i do that and again if i ping 172.16.1.4 minus t same thing uh, timed out uh, but nothing to worry about let's try to do rdp this time dc2 dc2 it sense admin and as you can see Securing communication session, login attempt failed. It means my, it did reach, uh, it's using, sorry, another account. So DC2 IT sense admin and, and let's try and here we go. I'm able to RDP into DC2. Keep this in mind. I'm able to RDP, but no ping. As I said, NSG is allowing all traffic, but the local firewall on the server is not allowing ping. So that's why no ping. So let's wait for DC2 to come up and then we will what i'll do i will temporarily disable the firewall local firewall and we should be able to get desired results so if i disable if i go to control panel and the security firewall status and if i turn off firewall and minimize it and as you can see i'm able to reach i'm able to ping and at the same time if i go from dc2 which is running in azure cloud go to cmd and ping uh, my domain controller which is running on on-premise network I can reach my domain controller as well. Perfect. And that ensures that we do have a real time, perfect network connectivity, site to site VPN between on premise network and Azure network, which we are using at DR. So if I go CMD and IP config slash all, just to check the DNS. Yes, DNS settings has taken effect. First one is the DNS in Azure. One more thing I would like to do. Um, one more thing I would like to. I see another thing. DHCP enabled no see. 
because we configured it as a static IP and which is required. One more thing I would like to do um, is it's not here. It's in Azure network. I would also like to create an outbound rule source source IP address uh, or, or virtual network and source ports any destination any or we can instead of destination we can specify the range 192.168.1.0 slash 24 any 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 allow it's a specific protocol specific rule although there is a rule which says internet which means all the network uh, virtual to virtual, there is rule for virtual to virtual, there is rule from virtual to internet. I want to start creating a specific rule and allow all to on prem. all to on-prem and let's go back to our servers yep all good all good we are still into RDP as you can see the server is DC it's in work group now next step what i would like to do is to add it to a domain and we will do this after a short break so stay tuned